in some techniques. I was going to ask you about what is your creative process, but you actually mentioned there's some techniques that can help. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, yes, I would love to. So, um, you know, I think one thing is, you know, everybody, we all have our computers and our phones. And, of course, those are a great way to edit and a great way to do stuff fast. But I know for me, you know, I like to have notebooks. I like to have notebooks, pens, paper, uh, you know, sticky things. Old you know, school. Tape, tape <laughs> old people stuff. <laughs> no, old school. Old, old school. school, yeah. <laughs> and I find that, you know, you get a little idea and then you, you know, tape it on the wall. Or, you you know, you have pieces of paper out and you just write, write. You know, for me, the, the computer... Uh, it, I, I'm not a great typer, so I feel like I kind of lose my, my creative flow when I'm using the computer. So, so I'll just write out tons of notebook paper. Um, so that's one thing. And then, you know, I think there's two ways that it happened. One can happen. One way is you start with the music, which I think many times is the way it is. Um, and I'll talk more about that. And then the other way is you start with a song title or a lyric or something. And then you try to build from that. So those basically the two ways that you're going to start. So what I would say with the music, if you're going to start with the music, you know, it's it's again, this is a magic kind of thing that does happen because you're you're playing something different that you've never played before, and hopefully, you know, no one has ever done before. Um, and what I find is that you know, sometimes when I pick up the guitar right away, I play something new. You know, sometimes when I play that D chord, it seems a little different or something, and, and maybe I go to something, you know, because it was, like, brand new. I'm just picking it up. But a lot of times, I think, when at least for myself, I find that if I'm practicing cover songs, okay, if I'm playing for, like, two hours learning cover songs for, for a show that I have to do or something, um, all of a sudden, after those two hours, I've kind of tricked my mind, you know, to be in this kind of state, and all of a sudden, something new comes out. You know, something maybe, you know, maybe I'm learning Bruce Springsteen songs. Um, and then, you know, as I sit there and do it, if, if you pay attention to it, every once in a while, you maybe play something a little different, you know, and that's songwriting. I mean, that that, you know, I, I saw uh, I study all the great songwriters. Keith Richards says, you know, he he has a party at his house, sits there, plays guitar and records everything. And then the next day he goes back and listens to it and says, oh, wow, that was kind of cool right there. What was that? Let me let me, you know. Um, and, and that's one thing with the phone that I will say. Uh, I have a program on the phone. It's called HT Recorder. Um, this is what it looks like. Uh, you know, it's like a $10 app, and it is so fast that, you know, I can, I can unlock my phone, open it, and then hit new, and bam, it's recording. And that, to me, it's, it's like when I feel that inspiration, like, wow, this is a little different kind of cool thing, I try to keep it going in my head and get to my phone and hit record and then just try to get it all out, you know, just try to focus for, you know, five, ten minutes and just, like, what was the idea? What, what is the cool part of this idea? And then I'll go back and I'll listen to it. And, again, a lot of it might have been kind of crappy, but there might be, like, ten seconds in there that's like, wow, that's something new. That's like a cool little new thing. Um, and then I'll, I'll play that over and over and I'll record that. Um, and then that's kind of like my new music. And then, you know, it may lead to something else. Like this little part might be two chords and then I might get the idea to, you know, put two more chords at the end or something like that. Um, and then I think the next thing that I would do is I would, you know, play it a bunch of times, but even that recording, I think sometimes it's good. You put the guitar down, get that recording and try to, you know, try to get a melody. Try to get a mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I and I know a lot of songwriters. That's how they start. You know, they just they just put in nonsense words or like a little melody, and then eventually, you know, you sit down, as, you know, and and words will kind of come out. You know, words. You, you know, you just kind of have to be open to it, uh, and words will come out, and then just write them down, write them down, and eventually, hopefully, you can string a couple little phrases. Bruce Springsteen said he sits down for like five to eight hours a day and writes out tons of stuff in notebooks. And if he gets one line that he likes out of the whole day, then it was a huge success. Mm -hmm. You know, so it really is. It just takes time doing it. But there are things you can do, like, again, practicing cover songs, you know, and or, you know, whatever, sitting around with your friend and playing. But I think for me, I've noticed that when I practice cover songs, it, it leads to new things. Uh, sometimes I like to watch football and uh, practice guitar. And I notice it's, it's something about it where I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing, and sometimes something new will come out. Um, 
and then again, I try to record it. I try to, you know, document it, and and then, you know, I've got, all, you know, then all of a sudden you have a bunch of these little ideas on your phone, and when you want to sit down to write a song, okay, this is like a little music that I actually came up with, and I'm going to try to put words to it. Um, I, so that's, go ahead. I noticed a quick question in the chat. Is it HT recorder? H as in Harry, T as in Tom. HT. Yup. HT. So you know, there there are different ones. There, there. Everybody, you know, everybody on your phone, you have some kind of like whatever Audio. recorder or something but a lot of times they're kind of crappy um but this one is just really nice because it, it's easy to rewind it's easy to email yourself um you know because sometimes i like to maybe play it in the car or something you know like like e you know and drive around with the music going and and you know have another recorder or something and try to come up with some lyrics uh so that one is just one that i like it was like 10 bucks and you know you can find any one you like really and there's free ones for sure but yeah. I, just, I just like this one um I know there's a lot of different paths about like how the creative process works, but it sounds like the way you explained it, um, largely you're kind of chord and music based and then melody and lyrics will come as a part of that. Yes, that I think that probably is mostly the way that I end up writing songs. Now, there is another way that I think um, is, you know, going by uh, like a title, like you have a, a, a title. Um, I worked for John Fogarty and I know that for him, he said, he would just randomly come up with like titles during the week and he would put them in a little hat or whatever. And then when he was ready to song write, he would he would take out the title. He would have his guitar near there and he would stare at a blank white wall for hours and just think, OK, you know, born on the bayou. OK, what does that mean? What what if, if I say born on the bayou, you know, how, what does that make you think of? What kind of what, images? What comes with Bad Moon Rising? Yes, exactly. You know what, what what comes with this? And then, you know, he would he would eventually uh put a whole song together and I find with me a lot of times I hear people say stuff um, and, and everybody if, if you just pay attention people around you say cool things you know I, I sportscasters on TV a lot of times you hear something cool uh, at the airport or something you might hear somebody say something and it's a cool like maybe it's like a few words put together in a certain way you never heard before so you just have to write it down you just have to hopefully have a piece of paper with you or on your phone or whatever and then, you know, they're not using it for anything, you know, so why not use it? You know, it's, 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 you could think of it as stealing, but it's not, you know, it's just kind of, it was an inspiration that, that you're able to draw from and you're going to make something new with it. Uh, so, you know, you don't need to have like a, uh, you know, a, 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 a moment where the light shines down and like, oh my God, this was the, you know, it's really, you know, sitting next to somebody in, in a cab, you know, and they say something, you know, they say something cool, like, oh, you know. Uh, you know, honey kisses, those honey kisses or whatever. And, and then they just go on with their life. And you're like, oh, oh, honey kisses. Wow. That's what can I do with this? You know, um, so there's all kinds of opportunities out there. If you just kind of, you know, uh, are aware of them and, and write them down, too. Yep, um, yep. I'm hearing you say that one of the best skills we could have is listening. So, you know, Lennon and McCartney would often talk about getting songs from Ringo just by how Ringo phrased things. So he was yes. credited, he's credited with a hard day's night. He's credited with eight days a week. I mean, just he he was like a, a vending machine of song titles that that Lennon and McCartney would use. So and I think everybody kind of has those people in their life. You know, in, in, in the rock band that I told you about writing songs, uh, you know, we all split the songwriting. And part of it was the drummer would say these funny things. And so I'm the drummer. <laughs> he wasn't trying to write songs. He just says funny things. And I would take them and write them down and then come up with a song about them, you know, Um so it's it's you know it, it's however you can do it and you just have to be hungry to have you know hungry to have something and then also I think too you know give yourself a little deadline you know say you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna in like two weeks I'm gonna have a song with the lyrics and the, and the music done like I'm gonna have a fin you know pretend you have a you know a, a record deal coming up or something whatever you know but give yourself some kind of deadline because that kind of helps too yeah. uh, instead of just like okay sometime next year I'll have this finished. You know, give yourself a deadline, um, and I'm, you know, I'm telling you, everybody can do this. It's, it's just a matter of, you know, uh, practicing, practicing it, and also, you know, if there's anybody around you that is good at it, you know, try to pick their brain. Try to somehow, you know, um, you know, if there's a recording studio studio near you, a rehearsal studio, even a music store, you know, try to meet somebody that that is into songwriting too, and you guys can kind of, you know, bounce ideas off each other. So.